everyone and welcome to another interesting episode of Rinse Chef in Rinse Kitchen. In this kitchen, simple is the other name. Okay, so today we are going to prepare something very easy. Groundnuts. You see, I only have groundnuts here, salt, uh, water, my pan and my cooking stick. It has taken me so long to learn how to prepare groundnuts and I am glad because finally I know how to. So let me show you how to prepare groundnuts. Nice, tasting, lovely groundnuts in about one step also. Karibuni. So step number one, add salt to my groundnuts. Enough salt. Then add water, like you're sprinkling, not a lot of water. Mix them well, your groundnuts in salt and water. Once they are well mixed, put them in the pan. And then spread them evenly. Then we put them on the fire. Put on your fire, then your pan of groundnuts. You can give your pan some time to get hot before you start stirring or mixing them. Okay, now the pan is getting hot, so you will just start mixing or stirring. The idea is to stir, then spread, stir, then spread, stir, and spread. Once most of the water has dried, you move them and put them on low heat. Because the mecca we were using has a lot of heat. So we'll move them. If you're using a jiko or mecca or whatever, ensure once they've started drying, you have very little heat. If you put them on high heat, they will burn. And when they burn, they are a bit bitter, so you won't enjoy your groundnuts. Keep spreading and stirring. You spread them and stir. If you stop stirring, the ones below will cook, while the ones on top or on the sides have not yet cooked. So just keep mixing and spreading, stirring and spreading, whichever comes first. You'll see them beginning to dry because they were a bit wet. The skin, when you mix them in water and salt, the skin will look a bit frail or folded. But once they begin to cook, they will begin to look like they did when they were raw, just with a different color. As you can see, they are no longer bright red. 
they're changing color to a dull color because of the salt and the water and they are cooking at the same time once you start hearing that sound know your groundnuts are almost ready to confirm if they are ready you just need to pick and try to remove the skin if the skin is moving easily like so then they are ready but if the skin is a bit uh, hard then you have to keep stirring So what we'll do, we'll put off our fire, and let them cool. Mix it a bit with no fire, because your pan is still hot. If you don't, then the ones below could uh, burn. it a bit until the pan cools let them cool for about five minutes before you can serve them so once your ground nuts are ready you can serve them with tea uh, remember the condensed milk we made I want to use it as a sweetener for the tea so I'll put two spoons of the condensed milk And a tea bag and water, hot water. So, there you have your condensed milk, sweetened tea. You don't need to add sugar or milk, and you can have your tea with groundnuts see how well they are done peeling easily from the skin and they are crunchy thank you so much for watching this has been rinse chef in rinse kitchen don't forget to like don't forget to share please subscribe till next time bye bye